post all the questions that will be coming in because we have somebody who, who will teach it from a um, an 18 years experience. So you are you're actually wow. in for practical knowledge and something that you will not forget in a long time and would benefit you from today and mm. as long as you continue to run business and as, as long as you continue to live. So please invite more persons if you need to share the link if you have to even if they have not registered because they yeah. will thank you to this. Yeah, thank you so much. All right. All right. Thank you so much, Ruth Jerry. And I'm super excited to also welcome Reverend Body. Reverend Body is also here with us. And you know, Reverend Body Daramola is a professional in this field. And I'm super excited about this time because we have two wonderful people that we have to us and also ensure that we are thriving wherever we are. So actually within our sort of influence, wherever we are doing business, you know, of course, you know, our mental health is also very key, you know, and I believe uh, it's going to be a wonderful time. So uh, right now, we have, you know, you know uh, Reverend Body with us, of course, Ruti Jiri is also live here with us. And uh, we take it up from there. Let's just keep the ball rolling and let's get started, you know. I, I can't wait to, to digest you know, the things that will help, you know, help me and, of course, also help me to the end and also ensure that they are thriving health wisely and, of course, in their business. All right. Thank you so much. So let, let, let's just get started. I'll introduce myself once again, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Femi Ajayi. And right here with me is Ruth Pijeri, uh, the co-founder and CEO of Mind of Freak and Rose Reverend for day alongside, you know, these guys are wonderful and they are professional at what they do. All right. Um, just like I said, the society is really, really hectic. And of course, we have a lot of people that are not, you know, balancing their work life with, you know, that of their health, which is really, really common. A lot, a lot of people are dying at a young age. It's not supposed to be. Uh, so let me just get started with my first question. Um, how would you, uh, my first question is going to Ruth, and Ruth can also definitely still, you know, pass these questions alongside to remember that we are together in this as we get started. Um, how would you define burnout? How would you define burnout? And why is it particularly important to address it in the context of conducting business in Nigeria? You know, how would you define burnout? And why is it important to address it in the context of conducting business in Nigeria? Because, you know, business in Nigeria is, <laughs> is really something. So first, how would you define burnout? And why is this important in the, in the sense of um, you know, conducting business in Nigeria. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much. I'll answer briefly so that I can give um, everybody a chance to actually um, explain more. Okay, now, so burnout, just like the way you would hear the word burnout, you know, there's this um, imagery of a, 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 match, a matchstick, like you have like five matchsticks and one is just burning definitely it just shows that there is a place of stress like okay you know there's there's something called lv stress and sometimes lv lv stress or let's say lg pressure that would that would lead to a little slight slight stress that need, that the body actually that the mind actually needs to actually get some things done but now we now see the um maybe the last matchstick when it burns till it turns black like i don't know if you have experienced something like that it burns till it turns black can you hear me, please? Yeah, exactly. So um, you can just increase the volume a little, probably, okay. if it's possible, okay. just find a way. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So like oh. I said, I said the matchsticks, comparing it to right. the imagery of a, of a match, matchsticks, let's say we have like three matchsticks, and you have one that you just lit to a stove or a gas stove, and you, you, you drop it. Then there's another one that you want to look at, and the old matchstick is completely burnt, that it even bends or turns into ashes or it turns black. And immediately you press or you put pressure on that burnt part, like the, the, the old stick is gone. So burnout is actually that chronic st stage of stress where the person is like completely physically, emotionally, and mentally drained. Like you can see it in the person. 
yeah. emotionally. And then one of the signs is mental exhaustion. One of the signs is mental exhaustion. So that's what burnout means. So burnout has to do with the key thing you have to see when you talk about burnout is chronic stress that exhibits yeah. itself in mental exhaustion. And then you can see it in the person's physical. Physically, you can see it. Then emotionally, you can see the person is all grumpy, get angry at little things. And then there is the mental stress too, where the person cannot even concentrate on one particular thing. The person is thinking, is depressed. So it also brings level of depression where you're asking the person here, the person is not here, is actually present with you, but is not present. Yes. And you see sometimes to an extent, people like this tend to miss, like, mix up names you want to call this person you're calling somebody else you are holding something in your hand and you're looking for it and somebody needs to now tell you and this thing is in your hand now and you're all angry so these are all the kinds of burnout yeah wow awesome awesome thank you thank you so much uh i don't know if everybody will also like to add to what she said wow you know sometimes when you even forget people's names it's also part of it and probably you are in a meeting and um, you don't even know where you are at that point. Like, where am I? So that's so part of it, you know. It's a chronic, it's a chronic exhaustion. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, I don't know if everybody would like to add to what um, Ruth has said before we continue. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you so very much, everyone, evening, for having sir. me. Yes. Sir. Um, thank, thank you, Ruth, for that opening. That's uh, pretty much explicit. I will just want to simply say that burnout is workplace stress. I hope you can all hear me. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Burnout is yes. workplace stress. And then, of course, before we can speak about burnout, it's important that we talk about stress because burnout in itself is a type of stress. And so stress is ubiquitous. It affects everyone. It's typically part of life and living. You know, like Ruth mentioned earlier, stress burnout can be positive, it can be negative, you know. And I doubt if there's anybody in life who wants to do something positive without going through some form of stress or another. So if it comes out good, it is you stress, positive stress. But if it comes out really bad, it becomes a distress. I hope you can hear me. Yeah. So, and the conditions that are capable of causing us stress or that could lead to burnout are called stressors. So... The stressors may be external, they may be internal, they may be symbols of threats, other psychological signals of danger, as we have it all around us. But the most important thing is the way we respond to stressors, which is very essential yeah. to stress management. So I know as we go along, we'll talk about how we can actually maybe somehow cope with the stress and, of course, the burnout effect in our environment but something is very important managing yeah. workplace burnout requires our personal responsibility knowledge and action and i'm hoping that the knowledge that we gain here this evening we'll put it into action so that we can better a lot thank you very much for having me here awesome awesome thank you so much everybody that was that was great you know one of the things you also said which is very captivating is when it comes to managing this burnout or managing stress, it has to do with our personal responsibility too, because we have to be intentional about our health. Wow, that was awesome and very expository. Uh, thank you so much. Um, I don't know if it's possible for Ruth, if you can see your face. Okay, great. <laughs> yeah, now I can see you very good. Awesome. Yeah, muted. <laughs> Okay, yes, you can see my face now because I was wondering <laughs> everybody seems to put up their camera. Maybe that's the exactly. new style. I don't know. You know. I, yeah, because I was about to ask you the, millen the millennial or Gen Z style. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, you can also see your face too because it's also very important. But, you know, see your face is 
satisfied. That's why. Thank you so much. Nice to see you. All right. All right. Yeah. So that will also lead you know, into my second question. So, um, what are some common causes of burnout among businesses? Among business professionals in Nigeria. Tell me, Nigeria, what are some common causes of burnout among business professionals in Nigeria? Um, both within Nigeria, originally in Nigeria, of course, then you can just you know speak a little about it internationally. That is common causes. Those common causes of burnout in Nigeria okay. in our business. Is that question for me? Yes, you can go ahead. Oh, yes, oh, sir. Oh, okay. Oh, all right. Thank you very much, Olua Femi. The common causes of burnout in the workplace in Nigeria, they are clear and pretty much there for everyone to see. The first thing is unmanageable workload. You have a situation whereby a job that is being done by four persons is now being done by one person. That is there. Yeah. I mean, due to whatever it is that is happening around us, this brain drain, which we often refer to as jackpotism, you know. So that is there. And then, of course, we have the unfair treatment at work. People are not being fairly treated in the workplace. Nepotism is there. The chronic, um, you know, toxic work environment is also there. People go to work, they aren't feeling happy. The moment people are closed and it's time to go home, that's when people are happy. So there's that. People are not being fairly treated because it's like people are at the mercy of their employers. They know, I mean, the options are limited. So people somehow, because of the economic situation, it's, it's not as, it's, things aren't really easy. You know, I, as I was speaking, I remember the words of Jamais Casio who said that the world that we live in, either in Nigeria or abroad, has become a bunny world, meaning the world has become brittle, anxious, non-linear, and incomprehensible. We used to have the VUCA world pre-COVID, but now it has become bunny. There's no system of the world that is not brittle. If we're not careful, anything could just break up. And then everybody is anxious. Anxious because we don't know what tomorrow will bring. Today, dollar could be 1,500 naira. I think you are muted, Femi. I thought you were responding or something. A dollar could be 1,100 naira. Thank you. And you wake up tomorrow, it's 1,500 naira. You know, it's... And so people are anxious. And then the world is no longer non-linear. Two plus two may just never be two plus two again. So, and then it is incomprehensible. And then in the... Some of the examples of burnout we have on realistic time pressures. You give people timelines for things and the resources and tools are not available for the work. And then on LD workspaces, light is irregular, data may not be good enough, you know, on safe and insecure work environment, lack of support from managers and colleagues, lack of tools and essential resources, lack of skill, competence, and expertise needed to even do the job. I have seen somebody who says, oh, I was employed as a personal assistant. But what I do now, <laughs> I mean, the role has been so much ex expanded. And with no training, I see people complain. As a whole, they took me as a, a therapist, but now I'm the manager and the, you know, people are doing so many things just to get back. Uh -huh. So sometimes, and also lack of team spirit in the workplace, you know, that connectedness that brings people together is no longer there. Not so much community in the workplace. Everybody is on their own. Like you say, or oh, your why oh, people are left to survive on their own. Then there are communication challenges as well. The list is endless. I there's a very interesting research by Eagle Hill Consulting as a management consulting organization in America. Since I mean, and just I just mentioned some things in Nigeria, but let me go to America now, where we often have statistics. They conducted a research post-COVID that showed that about 58%, you know, that burnout has skyrocketed about 58%. And as they are all become a major, major health and safety concern, 
You know, initially, burnout was never a medical condition. But now it's beginning to get more interesting because of what is happening. And according to that research by Igu Il, 47% of employees say that burnout is from workload. 39% says their burnout is from balancing work and their personal life. 37% say it stems from a lack of communication, feedback, and support. And 35% say that they are under time pressures and expectations are very unclear. They don't even know what they are to do or how to do the job because people will not just communicate effectively. And then there is this 28% who points to performance expectations. So these things are there. They are staring us in the face. And I could pretty much tell you that in our country, Nigeria, communication is a major thing. Even feedback and support. People are employed. Go ahead and do the job. I have seen organizations where, as you are employed, they ask you to buy your own seat and table. <laughs> yes, you will buy your own furniture. And if you like, let the furniture not be comfortable. Now you savvy. So these are some of the things that people are going through and it contributes to burnout in the workplace. Let me not talk too much. So let's... Wow. So... Wow, wow, wow. Very, very awesome. If you are coming to us in the right of course, of mind of free and we are talking about that it's, of course it's very important that we maintain you know, our place and of course our hair which is also very very key. Um Sorry, Femi, your line is breaking. All right. You're, you're breaking up. Is it? What is the is network? It? I hope it's okay now. Is it me? Yeah, I think it's okay. I hope the yeah. others are hearing. I hope it's not just me. It's actually breaking. Ruth, can you hear him? No, sir. He was actually breaking. Where are you? Is he in the point, right? Maybe you need to try oh, another network. Okay, just to confirm. Um, how is now? Is it better or is it still the same? Still the same. Still the same. Oh, oh, I see. All right. Let me see. Two seconds. How about now? Is it okay? It's quite it's quite okay now. Sorry? Yeah, I said it's quite okay. It's better now. Uh, it's better oh, now. It's better. Yes, it All is. All right. Okay. All right. Great. Great. Awesome. Awesome. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for calling my attention to that. Thank you so much. All right. So we shared a lot. Um, so let's talk about... What are effective strategies or practices to avoid this burnout? So I would like to grab the okay, roots and also get started with it. And of course, remember you can just you know, you know, talk more about it. Uh, how can we effectively, you know, what are the strategies to manage you know this burnout by conducting businesses in Nigeria, which is also very key. I also um like Ruth to talk about it and then we take it from there. Yeah, I hope you heard me. Yeah. Okay. All thank right. You. Uh, yeah, so I would want to speak from two two um groups of people, the entrepreneurs that um run businesses and then the employees who work for other people. So for for this set of people, I'm sure there will be a mixture of these two persons in the house. So I would say that for entrepreneurs, even for the employees, this is a, a, a general one. 
you must come to understand and recognize your burnout triggers. You need to come and understand, okay, you need to get to that point where you can actually tell, you've been able to identify what triggers burnout for you. Because it can be different for different persons. You know, it's just like somebody writing in their CV, um, ability to work under pressure. Some people cannot, so they cannot even fix that in their in their CV because it's not something they, they can really do. They cannot even be resilient in such kind of situations. The first is to identify, recognize, and then admit your burnout triggers. Because if you don't know it, you cannot communicate it to somebody else when you begin to feel it or when you begin to see that the person is doing that thing, especially when the person is your boss or your, your co-founder or your team member in a business. So understand and identify your triggers, your burnout triggers. Then another thing you can do is one of the ways, one of the things that brings about um, the old burnout to again is how do you spend your time? Have you, you need to come to understand time management because if you're working for someone most of the time, they, 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 as, in as much as your employer cares about um, your, your most employers will care about your well-being, they cannot prioritize it more than you would. Like they will not prioritize it for you. It is you would have to prioritize your health. So it is you that also make sure you prioritize time management. If it is nine to five you're working, you can choose to not take workloads back home. You know, okay, nine to five is when I do this work and this is what it is. So you can you you it's also important for you to um build um support system. You know, it is important to build support system because you can't you can't really do a lot of things alone. Man is even a social animal, actually, we know that. So it is when we build this support system, and one of the ways to actually build support system, you might, it's one of the things where everybody said, have employees, co-employees that you people talk about, do other things aside from work, don't just be a loner. And another way to actually improve yourself, if you are, maybe you're like an introvert, if you're an introvert, most times you want to be a part of mental health support systems too. They have a way of just helping you pour out your mind, rant when you need to rant, and then call for help when you need the help. So both as an entrepreneur and as an employee, you need to understand time management and you need to build reliable support system. You have to, it's a must. It's a must because there are companies, there are, there are government programs. Mind Africa also have a support group where we we, we tend to like, it's, it's open, it's active. You have questions, you can put it there. You want somebody to talk to, there's, there's a service we render there too. So all of these things help both employees and entrepreneurs to run, to pour out their mind and then um, um, offload whatever it could be. Another thing is also to communicate, be able to communicate your extent, the limits to what you can do. The limit to what you can do, even to your boss, but you communicate it honorably, but still communicate it. Yeah, so that's what I would say. Thank you. Yeah, awesome. Great, thank you so much. Uh, wow, that, that's awesome. Of course, you know, part of what you said is uh, we, especially we that are working in corporate environment, we need to understand the triggers, which is very important. And of course, you also mentioned the place of communication, right? And another thing you also talked about is time management, which is also very key. And uh, before we, before, because our, I'm about to ask, you know, thank you so much for that. That was awesome. Um, you know, uh, before I move to the next question, you know, because of our time, just to keep the ball rolling, uh, can you just quickly share your social media handles? Maybe because of this, you know, if people, you know, that are right here in the course of this program would like to get to you, you know, personally, um, maybe to connect with your firm, your organization, um, how can we, how can we reach you? How can we reach out to my friend? Yeah. Yeah, let's just um, do that briefly and um, move to the next question and ask. Hello? I hope you're ready. Oh, sorry, I didn't know you said. Yeah, thank you so much for that. Okay, okay so first, I want All to right. begin with our website, which is www.mindafric.com. Mindafric is mind, M-I-N-D, Afric, A-F-R-I-K. So mindafric.com. The reason why we, we would want you to test get to our website is you'll be able to get the other handles from it. There are clickable links to finding the other handles. And most importantly, you'll be able to sign up 
in, in, it doesn't mean you have to pay before you sign up, but sign up and let's even have your database so we can reach out to you. You can you can have information about our free services and about the paid services. You can have access to our email, access to informative newsletters and the likes. So we'll talk about you reaching us through our website. But we are also on Facebook, Mind Africa. Just search Mind Africa. You can check us on LinkedIn too. You can check us on Instagram, and we are also on Twitter. Yes. So you want to check us in those um, social media platforms. All right, great. All right, so on social media for the social media handle Mind Africa. You can go right there on Instagram, Facebook, IG. Yeah, bro, you're you're breaking up again. Oh, I'm still breaking. Uh, yeah, uh, happening again. Oh, really, really, really. Okay, Let me see one more time. Okay, is it better now? Yeah, I think so. All right. Okay. All right. So, um, I uh, was talking about social media. Yeah, just paraphrasing what you said. It's too bad. Is it too can you hear me? I don't know the I think he's still breaking. Oh, I see. Uh, what was it to do the last time, time that it became clearer? You need to do it. Oh, really? <laughs> I just, just, let me, maybe I should do that again. Let me see. Hello, how is it now? Is it better? Am I, I still think there's, a, there's an improvement. I think there's a bit of an improvement. Let's just bit, let's just continue. How many we have like one hour, right? So how many minutes do we have? Yes, so we have about 20 minutes. About 20 minutes. Okay. Let's go on. To zero. All right. Okay. Okay, so my next question is um are there any specific considerations or approaches that can help business professionals avoid burnout when conducting businesses outside of Nigeria? What we can do in, but within Nigeria or, and outside Nigeria. So specific considerations or approaches that can help business professionals avoid burnout. Because we have a lot of professionals that are just wearing their suits, their tie, everything. They are looking good, but internally they are not so far. They are not so far. What are, what are those, you know, consideration approaches that can help these professionals? Especially people that are very busy, nine to five. They are busy. How can we... You're talking about all this born now. How can we avoid this but in a place of work itself as business professionals? As business professionals. Thank you. Well, I'll just like to say that as business professionals, either within and outside Nigeria, before you make any form of investment, do your due diligence. Do your research well and be sure of what you're going to. Because whether you like it or not, when you bite more than you can chew, or you do not do your research well, you don't count the cost before going into any form of business, it's going to be a precursor for stress. And of course, it will lead to burnout, whether we like it or not. You know, um, when, when people are burnt out, what happens? It's as a result of not being able to rest. I remember the words of John Icky. Yes. He said, burnout is not the result of doing too much. It's as a result mm. of not getting enough rest. As a professional, you must build your business to an extent such that you can even have some time for rest and reflection. If you have to work for 24 hours nonstop, 
then someday, if you are not careful, you will break down. Mm. You know, as we were talking earlier, I I was going to actually clarify for us the signs of burnout. If you are experiencing burnout, how do you even get to know? And for yeah. me personally, this is the way I describe my home burnout. It is when I have a lot of things to do, but I don't feel like doing anything. Has it ever happened to you? When your mm. plate is full and you don't feel like eating, that is burnout. Uh, you dread going to work and cannot wait mm. to leave. That is a sign of burnout. You know, you're job, waiting for weekend. Uh -huh, people that are waiting for you, you're saying, thank God it's Friday. <laughs> huh? And hey, yeah. oh God, it's Monday. It could be a sign of burnout. And then when your job, your job that used to give you joy, but it has now become a ball or a sore spot. You know, sometimes you like to do your coding thing. You like to do your, your UX, UI, you know. Your web development. But all of a sudden, you enjoy it anymore. It's not a sore spot. You don't want to see those things anymore. It could be as a result of burnout. Sometimes you could get aggressive. You know, now you're not angry mm. with your colleagues. You know, what used to be an exciting part of your day is now becoming unappealing and frustrating. Burnout is beginning to come in. And before you know it, there'll be a difficulty in concentrating. Sometimes you are lost in thought. They tap you and you're like, oh, why are you talking to me? But sometimes if you are not careful, you start talking to yourself. And then watch out for this one. Task that you usually do easily is now taking so long for you to do it. So as a result of burnout, tasks will take longer to do. And there's also yeah. lack of patience with co-workers and even your clients. Things that people will do to you that you would easily answer them, smiling. You now get mm -hmm. irritable. You are impatient. And then there's fatigue. There's inability to sleep, which is insomnia. Headaches that you cannot explain. And sometimes stomach pain. Any little thing you're having running tummy. And then also constant cold. Somebody you say, I'm having kata, and the kata has refused to go away. You're taking panadols, you're taking all manner of medications, and it is not improving. Constant cold, nausea, and even body aches. These are signs. I've mentioned some of the physical signs, and I've also mentioned some of the psychological signs that you need to watch out for. And I think that will help somebody out there who might be going through it. There are certain body pains that you cannot explain. You have taken all forms mm -hmm. of medication, but they have refused to go away. The agitation is there, the frustration is there, lack of enthusiasm. And there's, there's this thing uh, among young Nigerians, the fact that everybody seems to be away and you are the only one here. There's that feeling of tiredness and extortion. But the encouragement is keep hope alive. Don't be discouraged. Whatever your hand find it to do, do it with all your heart. If you are not useful here in Nigeria, I doubt if you are going to contribute anything to any world economy because it's not easy out there as well. Mm? The world out there isn't easy. But for as much as we are ready, like we mentioned earlier, we must take some deliberate action to get out of burnout. Let me leave it at that. I hope maybe if I could mention some of the solutions or as you asked yeah. me. For... Yes, sir. Okay, yes, you want sir, me please. to go ahead? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. One I would like to say is LD eating habits. Mm. And one of the simplest LD eating habits is not rushing your food. Uh, Part of burnout is people will just look for 30 minutes, even at 30 minutes break. You just quickly drop. And some people, as they are eating, they are working. You are not really eating, you are just swallowing. Learn to enjoy your meal, eat it, feel it in your mouth. And then take a lot of fruit and vegetables, especially for your mental health. Banana is good for you. If you have the opportunity to choose any fruit, choose banana. Eat your breakfast like a prince. Lunch like a king. And then your dinner like a pauper. Somebody will say, ah, me, I don't do breakfast. They say, ah, if I take breakfast, I'll be having stomach pain. It is not good enough. That's why it is called breakfast meaning you are fasting all through the night and it is time to break. And that breakfast is good for your brain. 
Mm. Good. So, and then your regular exercise. Regular exercise is acknowledged as the natural remedy for burnout and stress. Sometimes stand up from your seat and walk around. Don't be a couch potato. For those who are in the IT world, don't just sit down. You know, some people, they by sitting down on the system. They say, I have not left this system in the past five hours. <laughs> and they'll be proud of it. They'll be proud of it. Before you know it, your leg pain, your back pain. There was a particular lady in an organization. I wouldn't want to mention the name. She was there. She put her head on the table. And people didn't yes, notice. They said, how are you? She wasn't responding. At the point, somebody just touched her. And before you knew it, she was already gone. She died in the office on her computer because she's the type that doesn't mix with anybody. So everybody told mm, in her usual way. She eats and sleeps on the system. And one day she slept off and never woke up. So once in a while, get out of that seat, walk around, stretch your legs, do some hand exercises in the workplace. It helps your mental health. And then don't joke with your sleep. I beg us. That minimum of six hours is very, very important. Improve on your sleep hygiene. Somebody will tell me, I wherever sleep, will meet me. That's where I will sleep this sleep. If I, let me say, the, the way the person will say it in your back, only if it's on Umbati, Bami, you know, wherever sleep needs to be. He doesn't sleep consciously. So sometimes he will sleep on the bus while coming in the morning, and then going back home, he will sleep on the bus. All through the night, he wouldn't want to sleep. Some people will tell you where you sleep, your destiny will sleep away. Eh? Be listening to them. If you motivational don't get enough, speakers. Yes, motivational speakers. If you don't get enough rest, your brain is not refreshed. You need it. Maybe you do five hours at night or during the day you can take a nap and then invest in good mattress, comfortable pillow, and a good wrapper. Eh? How is your mattress? Is it hard? Is it thick? For those who are older than 40, you may need something harder. You know, depending on your body, how it feels, invest in a good mattress, have a comfortable pillow. You realize that your pillow is giving you pains on your neck. Change it. Yeah. When last did you change your blanket? When last did you change your wrapper? Get a different color, something cool, and ensure that when you are sleeping, turn up the lights, turn up the phones. It's not the time to sleep. If I don't play music, I cannot sleep. You may be physically sleeping, but your brain isn't sleeping. And that's why when you wake up, it looks as if you haven't slept. So let us not joke with our rest. And then most importantly, please learn to say no. Somebody said, wow. if you can't say no, you can't be known. Show up and do the best of your ability, your primary duties and responsibility. But if side projects and responsibility come up and they're not going to help you meet your target and things like that, you must learn to be able to say no politely. Make sure you complete your primary assignments. And as you complete that, you'll be able to regain the passion and vitality needed for other challenges. Don't take up too many. A lot of us don't have that vitamin N to say no. Even when you are falling apart, you still take more. And in the midst of all, schedule play time. All work and no play make jazz a dull boy. How do they say it? So regularly connect with the playful side of you. And I don't want to talk too much, but I'm sure somebody has learned something. In fact, there was a time personally I was born out. So yeah. I was now talking to one of my young friends. He said, yeah, do you do Netflix? I said, I mean, I don't do Netflix. So he said, don't worry, let me share uh, the platform with you and all that. Maybe you get a movie that will encourage you. So I went there, I saw something. And I was just looking at myself. I said, I have a lot to do, but see me do movies. But that day I felt really happy with myself. I watched it. I saw a comedy and it was good for me. So thank you for yeah. listening. Wow. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much, everybody. Uh, you know, one of the things that you said that captivated me was take your vitamin N. Very important. Very, very important. Wow. So thank you so much. Uh, okay. So I, will, I don't know, if Ruth, um, can you, uh, for, I know you've talked um, about the freak. Uh, you should just talk a little about the freak. And of course, if there are specific tools, resources, or support systems available, um, 
that you have as an organization that you know that solves them, you know, for for business owners, for leaders, for entrepreneurs, and you know, you know, what are those things that you have in store? What are those tools? What are those resources? Let's know about Mind Freak, you know, and um, let's take it from there. You share the social media handles with us um, on social, Facebook, Instagram, you know, LinkedIn, Mind of Freak, www.mindoffreak.com. That's the website. Yeah, but can you just share with us the specific tools, resources, or support system of what, of what you do as an organization? Mind Freak, thank you. Okay, thank you so much. And I also want to say thank you to everybody on this. Yeah. Okay. Um, very much so welcome. Mind Mind thank you. Thank you, sir. So um, for Mind Africa, um, one of the tools and resources, or let me use the word, let me let me take the part of resources. So we have, because we are a service-based and social enterprise, we know that um, the best gift you can actually give to people that our target market is that human interface yeah so we we like i like i mentioned before we have a mind of this house where it's a it's a whatsapp group where we 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 gather people people come in they join and they can pour their issues and then we they get to be um they get to be listened to and if they need to um sign up for a therapy session they would know but you also have um, an, um, an opportunity for a 30 minute supportive listening that is free, that is free. So from there, if what they now need is a therapy, we know where to take them to. If it's just supportive listening that, it, that will continue to need, maybe just people want to talk, um, they will continue to have such services. So those are one of our resources. And we also have the, um, the part of um, the support group. If you don't want to be in, it's important to be in the general gist house, but the support group where you meet people like minds like you, um, like minds that might, might be having the same issue. Let's say someone is experiencing grief, an employee is experiencing grief or um, loss of a loved one, and then you find some other persons who have gone through the same challenge. So, you know, it is, it is, it is more, it is clearer in that sense that a person finds relief knowing that they're not the only ones going through such things because these are also mental mental challenges that people have. They believe that, okay, I'm just the only one going through this thing. It could be an abuse. It could be anything that people just feel like they're the only ones going through it, which might likely not be it. But when they come into a community where they see people going through the same thing, they heal faster and they recover faster. So another thing that we have, another um, opportunity that we also have, another opportunity that we also have is, like I said, we, 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 are, we, we plan on which is something we are already working on. We want to see how we can help business owners um, come into our business, like where they can get a service. If they know that they have staffs in their companies or in their, in their firms, they can let us know, okay, these are the number of um, staff that we have here. These are the number of workers that we have. Would you give us a subsidized amount if they would come in for supportive listening or mental health support? So we have that as a service too. Then we also look to people who, who want us to come in. We want to also see ourselves going into the um, HMO. So you can, you, can, you can even convert it. If you're a school owner here, you're listening, or you would, want, you would somehow come to listen after today, maybe the replay version. You, want, you have a school and you want, us to, you want to include it as part of the um, 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 human, human management um, you want to include it as part of what you give as your HMO, right? Health management um, um, service to your, to, your, to your employees. You can also include that. You can include that. We'll, we'll also look into it. Okay, this is part of your um, health management program for your staff. And if you are just a one man, so there's also an opportunity, a one man owned business, there's also an opportunity for you to get discounts from us. Thank you. So, how are we going to reach out to you? Number or something? I'm going to reach out to you. You know, of course, you know, you mentioned the community, right? 
or yes. okay, for example if i'm interested in joining the community how am i going to get started with that or if i want to reach out to someone okay yeah so to join the community i would let me leave a number that you can reach out that you can call but even on our website there are list of numbers that can be called but i want to do justice and make it easier for you you can call 0813 yeah. 4762-115 so should, should there be anyone who wants to um write that down you can call that number i want you to do possible to type it in the message right okay I will. thank you so uh, once you call the number yeah. We'll reach out to you as soon as we get your message or your calls, and then we'll continue conversations from there. All right. Okay. Great. Great. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, ladies and gentlemen, the voice you just heard was that of the CEO of Mind the Freak, the co-founder of Mind the Freak, the president of Ruth Ijeri. She's a wonderful person, and one thing about her is that she loves to add value to people, and uh, which is also very key. Uh, thanks so much, uh, Ruth, for your time. Thank you so much. Um, okay, so my last, you know, I, I just want to ask Reverend Bodhi this, you know, that would just be the, my, uh, the last, uh, should I say, question or just word of advice, you know, from Reverend Bodhi and also the people. All right, so remember, day we that we're in the corporate world, for we have a lot of people that are working with the environment. Just within one minute, two minutes, just one minute, please. Just share with us. Uh, sorry, the pep yeah. talk. So okay, a pep, yeah. pep yeah. talk for so, everyone working, yeah. right? Yes, just a minute, yeah, just four minutes, and. Uh, Advice. Okay. Yeah. The my advice yeah. is that you know, work is a blessing in disguise. So for everyone who has the opportunity to be able to work, please do it to the best of your own ability, and please continue to improve on yourself. Whatever courses you need to take, please do them because it will add a lot of value to you. The, the organization or whoever is your employer can take their job, but the skill cannot be taken away from you. Mm -hmm. Above all things, please do not make your health a priority. Make your wellness mm -hmm. a priority. It is not selfish. It is very, very necessary. You know, be sure because it is the man who is standing belongs to everybody. But the man who is on the sick bed belongs to no one. Mm -hmm. Scripture in third John 2 says, I wish above all things that thou may prosper and be in health, even as your soul prospereth. So your health is a priority to God. Don't joke with it. And it is important for yourself as well. Because all this work that we say we're doing, if we die, there's no work anymore. Eh? So pay attention to your body. If your body is whispering and saying something to you please pay attention eh? don't wait until it begins to scream mm. i don't know if you understand what i'm saying so pay attention to little yeah. pains and make sure you deal with it immediately don't live with that sickness in your body speak out seek professional help and if you are experiencing any form of burnout too you tried everything you could and it's not living please speak to professionals my graphic is there to assist yeah. you to call those numbers and you'll be very well assisted. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, that was awesome. Thank you so much, sir. You know, one thing you said that was very complicated is that those paraphrases make your life that you belong to everybody. everybody. When you are alive, you know everybody, but when everyone is dead, Belongs to no one. Yeah, yeah. This is also that. Thank you so much. That was awesome. You're welcome. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that's very much. We will put time right here. The girl showcase and of course for the month of November. Also, we have 
Ah, yeah, no, sorry, is then on this platform. Yeah. I'm seeing her name here. How come she hasn't even spoken at all? <laughs> I think she's still there. Okay, she's still there. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think she's having so network issues something. or something. Okay. Yeah. By rule. Yeah, I think she I has. I can go yeah. now. So yes, sir. Fun. So it's the end of the session, actually. Thank you so much, Reverend Buddy. Thank you so much, Ruth. Thank you for dropping your phone number. And if you are interested in anything, you can also definitely reach out to the number on you know, the chat box. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, everyone. Do You're have welcome, a you. wonderful day. All right. Well sir. done. Bye, on the great everyone. Day. Bye. Thank you, sir. Bye. Bye.